Welcome into K-State Online. I am Mason Voth. That is Drew Galloway, and uh, we are here with not concrete information, but some speculation on some signs and everything else that's out there about what might happen uh, in football recruiting this year, not just for K-State, but it's going to be impactful of everybody throughout the country. And we'll, I mean, there you can look all over the place and find uh, changes and inconsistencies with how college sports is operating right now because it seems like every other day uh, somebody's getting taken to court and they're going, yeah, the NCAA, you're kind of stupid. So you can't do this anymore. You can't do that. And then the NCAA is like, well, screw you guys. We're taking your cookies away. No cookies uh, in your in your hotel room. So it's just a, it's a real give and take right now. Like, you know, these players, yes, you can get money now, but you lost your cookie privileges. So where's the where's the winner and loser? I, I don't know. We'll, we'll try and figure it out. But the big thing to start with here is that this is being hinted at around uh, the college football world that there might be a signing period in June this year which people that, that know currently, the signing period, there is the early one in December, which has taken over as like the official national signing day now. And then there's one that comes after the start of the year, uh, which we just experienced a month ago. So explain the process that is being talked about here with the possibility of a June signing period, and then ultimately how that might impact what K-State does in 2025. So the process behind this is it's all driven from the coaching staff because they want kids to be able to sign as early as possible because it's just hard to hold on to guys for a long time. Like, let's say Dylan Duff committed, he committed uh, last week. He would be committed for like 10 months before he could sign. And, and that, that's just a long time in college in college football recruiting right now. And it, it just makes it a lot easier for them, not just with that time, but if you can get as many guys as you want signed in June, you can focus all of December really just on the transfer portal and any other player that's just not signed. Like it makes it, it makes their lives a lot easier because you have to remember during December, K State had coaches on the road in high schools hosted transfer visitors, hosted, hosted high school visitors. Uh, like there was just so much going on that I, I think that if you add a June uh, signing period, you'll probably see less coaches have all these headaches and want to leave for the pro ranks because yeah. it, they'll have just more time on their hands. And it, this signing period also has to be that last week of June uh, because we also have to remember coaches work every day so the july time is where they really take their vacations so you don't really want to mess with that the coaches won't give that up so if you can get kids to sign that last week of june i think that everybody will be happy and there will be just a lot less of a headache because they also have added in that the late the late signing period uh <laughs> would be uh like december like the week of conference championship games so then you have that right before conference championships and then you can focus all of your attention to the transfer portal which opens like three weeks later so it, it just makes coaches lives a lot easier which in turn kind of makes our lives a lot easier because yeah. there, there won't be as much happening at once well and you know at the end of the day I, there's also an element to this that I mean, nothing says that the high school guys have to sign in June because, no. like you said, they'd still have that opportunity uh, in December. But it would make the recruits' lives easier, too, because yeah. once you sign, hey, you're locked in, this is good, you're not going through you know, what, what guys do where, hey, okay, they, they've committed here, but you're, we're still going to work on you. And that's how everybody plays it. Like That's not like the wrong thing to do. K-State does that to guys where – yeah, they're committed elsewhere with their verbal, but K-State's still going to check in and do their due diligence. And if anything falls through, they want to be set up there. To get these guys signed, that takes some pressure off of them too. And think about how many guys that we talk to that are like, you know, I'd like to have my recruitment wrapped up by the start of my senior season. Well, you can officially wrap it up by the start yes. of your senior season. And I think that's a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal for the players and the coaches. It it's going to make June a wild ride if uh, if this ends up getting passed and there is a signing period that last week of June because 
there's not just official visits. There's also camps that you'll see K-State uh, host, and they'll be going to other camps to find players and offer players. It, it's just going to make June more of a sprint than it already was. So that 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 makes us happy as content people. We're like, okay, get give me this. Like, I, I need this. Like, it'll give us a lot to talk about in the month of June because there's going to be official visits, camps, a signing period. It, it could be a crazy month, and then and then coaches go on vacation, and then everybody's happy. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> it, it, there's a lot going on there, and that's the thing with college football is as more gets added, more things are going to start to run together. So your you know your signing days are going to run together with transfer portal recruiting, and still run together with the season and all these other things that are going to go on. So it's just going to be never ending. Uh, in addition to the chatter out there about that. NIL is one of those things that is changing daily. Uh, what are some of the impacts of changes in that, and, and how is K-State handling or prepared to handle anything that might change there? Uh, NIL is just a uh, a buzzword that kind of gets thrown out for if things aren't going well, oh, it's <laughs> NIL. Uh, but, but really, though, NIL is extremely important in – we're seeing it really take off more recruiting wise because like you said, the NCAA can't do anything because they got deemed unconstitutional in the court systems. If, if some of the rules that they had with NIL follow uh, with uh, Virginia and Tennessee being the latest ones with an uh, in, in NIL court appearance. So NIL really went from being like 10 to 15% of recruiting now or recruiting uh, last year to being like, 80 to 85 percent now which it it's a scary thought to me not because like i don't think that case can handle it. it it it's scary to me in the sense that like nil wasn't meant to be like this anyway or it wasn't meant to be like this so like now seeing it go this direction is number one kind of predictable but also a little on the scary end uh but case was in the bottom uh, the bottom third of the Big 12, like pretty easily. And now we're seeing more messaging. We're getting Wildcat NIL being the exclusive NIL partner with K-State. And NIL at K-State has gone up in, or uh, has gone up because of this. But this is why that you see Jerome Tang and Chris Kleiman asking for more is because you, you need more if it's going to go in this 85% of recruiting territory that it is now because it, uh, eventually it's going to be a hundred percent and it's going to be like okay here is like a budget of nil like what what can we what players can we get with this budget yeah so th the big thing is you mentioned the the tennessee and virginia situation where now it's there's been an, an injunction and everything else that's gone on that right now you can you you can you don't even have to pretend that you aren't talking about NIL when you're recruiting guys, you know, where we were supposed to act like in this whole process, uh, you know, this guy, uh, he just, he wants to come here. The NIL sort itself out on the back end. Like these guys didn't know. It's just each, each and every day. It seems like we get closer to just being like, yeah, you know, all this stuff that we were doing behind closed doors, you can just do it out in the open now. Like that's fine. Um, that's kind of where things are going. And you're right. Like NIL, is in a place where it was never meant to be because, and this is my opinion, and maybe we would have gotten here eventually, but I think that this comes just from the NCAA's inability and unwillingness to move along early on and just be like, oh, you know, hey, that guy, he has T-shirts he wants to sell with his name on it. Like, he should be able to do that. Hey, these guys, let's pay him $600 and give him a free game to be in a video game. The NCAA didn't want any of that to happen, and because they didn't want it to happen, the people stepped in and just said, "Screw it! You can't, you can't tell these guys not to do this." And so every little thing, they fall behind, and they just were wildly underprepared for what was going to come their way. So they did it to themselves, and uh, these coaches have to adjust on the fly. Like it's, it's not just the NCAA that's being hurt by this, even though the NCAA deserves to be hurt by it. These coaches are the unintended victims of it, and I. I get it. Like, we don't want to feel sorry for the guys making millions of dollars every year. They have a pretty cushy lifestyle. Their lives could be worse. They chose this profession. But in this regard, with all the NIL stuff, I do think 
because the NCAA was so underprepared, they are kind of screwing these guys over. And that's tough. But I think at the end of the day, K-State has, t- has rolled with the punches pretty well. Yeah, I, I I feel bad for the coaches in the sense that this could be another major offseason change if uh, the, the signing period uh, changes, which it's a good thing for them. But it it would be, in the last handful of years, a pandemic, NIL, the transfer portal, the transfer rule, and then potentially changing the signing one of the signing periods to June, all in just a handful of years. So it, it it's tough, and it, it, I can see where it would wear on somebody if they were coaching. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Tough spot for them, but we'll see uh, how it all ends up. All right, well, that will do it for us today. A quick, tidy little show for everybody to kind of update you on what might be happening and where the impacts might end up being for K-State. I mean, if signing day gets moved up to June, if there is an opportunity there, how many guys do you think K-State could get in that period and how many big fish would be included in that? I could see K-State trying to get as many official visits in the month of June as they possibly can and that their staff could handle because I I think that they want most of the class to be signed in June and be able to pick their spots with some guys in December because I think that that's just where we're trending nationally. And it was trending this way before uh, a signing period was going to be added in June where a lot of your class was already done. So I I imagine that most of K-State's class, will they will try to sign in June. All right, well, we'll see how it works out. Uh, certainly, that would make things easier on a lot of people, uh, and and just it would make fans feel a lot better about the recruiting class that you bring in and be like, okay, these guys are locked in. No sweating it out through December or January. So that's all good news. All right, that'll do it for Drew Galloway. I'm Mason Both. For more K-State recruiting news and info, head over to kstateonline.com with On3. And in addition to that, get all your team news about K-State football and basketball. We'll have more basketball coverage throughout the week as we gear up for our trek to Cincinnati as K-State back-to-back wins, and they're back on the bubble. So that will do it for us. Thanks for watching and listening to K-State Online.